Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and welcome back to part four of four, uh, which is the last one of our MDT 2013 driver out of the box driver management. Uh, uh, the last scenario is total control, and when I mean total control, you're actually going to have uh, hands on control of your driver management. This is my favorite but it takes some time and a lot of management uh, if you want this stuff to work out for you now this works best for small medium and as well as large companies uh, if they're deploying multiple operating systems let's say Windows 7 and Windows 8 uh, they have many hardware models and from multiple vendors uh, so this will work best so how do I use it so the way that I do it, within the out-of-box drivers, I create a node with the operating system type that I'm going to be deploying. For this example, is Windows 8 64-bit, right? Inside of it, I have Dell Inc. That's the vendor or the, the make. And within the vendor, I have the model, okay? So if you have a bunch of Dells on the floor, you will create multiple folders within the Dell folder of that model. So if I had a Latitude D630, I would create a folder Latitude D630. But there's a catch. You have to have the correct variables. How would you get the variables? How would you get the exact naming for these particular folders? No problem. So I'm actually going to go into my main computer. And these are the two commands. This one right here would give you the make. And this one will give you the model of the machine. So again, I'm gonna post this stuff up at the description part of the video so you guys can get your copy. Again, this is my cheat sheet. I love using cheat sheets. And I'm gonna paste this command, the first one, and this is gonna give me my manufacturer, also my make. That's why I created the folder like this. The second one will give me my model. So if I just copy and paste that, it will give me Precision M6500. That is the reason why these two folders are named like that. Okay? So once you create this, you don't need to do any selection profile. Once you have your folder infrastructure built the way that you want it, again, this is probably going to be really long and tedious, but at the end it's really worth it because you're you're managing your drivers the way that you want to manage it the next step is to go and tie you inside your task sequence so we're gonna double click on the 64 bit because that's the that's the folder that I created and we're gonna to go to task sequence and within task sequence we need to create a new task sequence variable now we need to create this task sequence variable right before uh, inject drivers so I'm going to add general and we want it set a task yeah set a task sequence variable and I'm gonna just drop you know pick it up and get let's give it a name uh, it's really up to you if you, what name you guys want to call it but I'm gonna give it uh, driver group 001 uh, the reason why I'm using this name is because uh, around the internet that's what they use again you don't really need to use this but it's really up to you uh, task sequence variable again uh, let's call it driver group 001 and now what's the value so now this is very important so you're probably saying what is the value so the value is Windows 8 x64 backslash percent sign make percent sign backslash percent sign model percent sign that's it so let me break it down to you guys so Windows 8 x 64 is basically the folder that we created we're telling it to go to the make and we're telling it to go to the model so depending what model you're deploying your your image to it's gonna use this value so let's say I'm deploying an Optiplex 720. MDT is smart enough to go inside this value and say, oh, okay, you pick the task sequence to push out Windows 8.1 Pro 64 bit. Okay, that's checked off. When it gets to this portion right here, what's going to happen? It says, okay, this is the task sequence. This is the node that I need to go into. 
The make would be what? What's the make? Oh, okay, it's a Dell. And the model, oh, it's a OctiPlus 720. So it's going to go inside the folder of the OctiPlus 720, which I don't have, but hopefully you guys can understand that. And uh, that's it. That is how you do it. But not yet. Because you got to remember, you still have this inject drivers node still enabled. You don't want this to be enabled. So you need to go in, in here and uh, your selection profile would be nothing. And install all drivers from the selection profile and hit apply and OK. And then just update your deployment. And that's it, guys. That is how you could get total control of your deployment. Again, it's a little bit tedious. A lot of work, a lot of folders that you have to create, but at the long run, it is going to work out with you. Uh, trust me, this is how I do it at work. I think on I, I did a, a past driver management uh, on how to do it on MDT, and I learned from my, my past experience, and this works out for me a lot. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Again, I'm going to put the, the, on the description part, I'm going to put the link so you get my cheat sheet. Uh, leave comments below if you have any questions and again don't forget about hitting that like button I catch you guys later peace out